Yo, yo, we're back, and we're doing the fifth scenario here. Finally, some battle action coming on. Uh, the Battle of Sterling. And I did fix the Fraps problem up in the right-hand corner. The, the game is sped up a lot, so I'm glad that worked out. We just had to disable the, uh, the FPS frames per second uh, monitor. That's all I had to do. And uh, this will be a good mission. Introduce those who have not really experienced uh, Age of Empires or played a lot or, or just new to the game. Uh, it really introduces and you know in, in a nutshell uh, a small nutshell uh, shows how to manage resources and uh, manage some warriors manage uh, an army so it's pretty good pretty good stuff uh, I remember well back in the day it's probably about eight and uh, eight or nine no probably nine or ten and uh, I would play Battle of Sterling all the time. Uh, let's say I would like go to the Barbarossa campaign, which is the fifth campaign if you don't know, and it's the hardest one in my opinion, um, or second hardest one in my opinion. It's pretty difficult, anyways. And I would play that, and I would get like to the fifth scenario, and I would get like I, I would get swamped and just demolished. And then to boost my confidence, I would come over here. Pull up the William Wallace campaign, go to the Battle of Sterling, and be like, Yeah, I'm the king of the world. I chopped down every tree, every tree, and I, oh, about 90% of the trees I chopped down, got every gold uh, mine, every stone mine gone, and every fish in the water uh, on this map, which is a ton. Half this map, you can't see it because of the black stuff, the shrewd. Half this map is water. I got every fish in it. Resources were brimming. What I did was I made, I set all my villagers up. Actually, I, I, I like put through it. I had like a, I had a huge army. I got all the resources, and I was like, I'm gonna go for the record here. Um, the, the speed isn't so. Sorry, the speed isn't totally great. Yeah, I still mess with the resolution thing, so I'll figure that out. Um, but anyways. I got so far and I was like, I, I can't sit here anymore and try to get every resource on the map. So what I did was I got a buttload of, boatload, but I call it buttload, buttload of, uh, of villagers uh, and just put them on duty and I just left the computer, uh, made sure no one went up there and screwed with it because at this time I didn't have my own. Um, Went outside, got my basketball, I, and uh, walked to the elementary school down the street and uh, started shooting some hoops on the blacktop for about an hour and a half and uh, came back and I had about like 30,000 wood, like all all the fish were gone. It was pretty it was pretty comical, but I did stuff like that to boost my Age of Empires self-esteem. And I don't know how many times I would set up and uh, and and try to say, oh, okay, I'm gonna start at the beginning, no cheats, hardest, and try to play through this game. I was like 11, never happened. I always got freaking stuck on Genghis Khan entered China or whatever it's called, where freaking Jin builds a wonder, and I just smashed a taboo box underneath my feet with. Uh, uh, I always got stuck right there and never beat that, but, um, screw it. Uh, I, 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 I beat the game before, but, um, oh well. So, this is a great game. It's phenomenal. And for a strategy for this mission, uh, just basically, you know, go to the mine to your, to your, to the west of your base just slightly. Uh, send your scout cavalry out to scout out their base. The English base is all the way on the western side of the map as I'm doing right now. Get some villagers assigned to the gold mine. Get some villagers assigned to the stone, or no, not not stone mine. Nah, get some villagers assigned to the the, the forest on your east and to, to the north just slightly. And uh, get a mill out so you can get those forge bushes and cheap, and then eventually the farm. So it's really simple. And once you get to the feudal age, you can um on the dark age, uh, you can just uh you know pull out some archers and. Men at arms, and that's all you need. 
it's not too strenuous of a battle at the end, so don't pile up on units too much and waste too much time. Sorry for the lag, still, still a problem. I apologize for that. That'll be fixed for about, I think, six and seven missions, and the uh, all the other campaigns as well. There we go. Feudal Age. I like having my scroll rate fast. If it's like giving you a headache or something, I apologize, but I need to have a fast scroll rate because I just bounce around all over the place on my map when I'm playing this game. Uh, same with Red Alert too. I I just get OCD and go all over the place, do do my do whatever. And, you know, you got to play like that when you're playing RTS, uh, especially in multiplayer online. That that stuff's crazy, man. Whoa, that stuff's insane. But, we're not doing that right now. Uh, get some more villagers out. Make sure you have a good. Oh my, my voice is cracked. Jeez, I have so much voice crack, man. Voice cracks all the time. I'm sorry. I uh, get some uh, farms going, and as weird as it sounds, uh, you need. Well, it actually makes sense because what other resources would you, you know, have to make a farm? But farms are are. Uh, wood expenditure so you're gonna need some wood to make the farms as I mentioned earlier so make sure you get the wood goes hand in hand with getting food. Uh, you have so much you have so much of your uh, food resources that just um, would become vital and you will have no shortage of wood I guarantee you in any of these scenarios so um, don't feel like producing all these farms, you're just throwing them down, you won't be able to get some archers or buildings. Uh, don't have those fears because it will not be a problem for you. I get some more villagers. I'm going to skip the loom research capability. You don't need it. You're not going to be fighting there, putting your villagers out in danger on the, uh, on the plains out here against the, the English. This is no Braveheart. Um, Battle is actually a lot easier. <laughs> uh, it's nothing. It's so much harder for the uh, Celts to win and uh, the Celts, or I don't know what you want to call them, um, in play part than it is in this because you know I just trample all over the English. And that would absolutely never happen if the designers of this game weren't using this as a tutorial, which is totally fine. Uh, but they do a good job in representing. The people, Ensemble Studios and the designers of Age of Empires do such a good job representing it historically. I know some people, like some history teachers are probably some cynical, some say some cynical thing about it, but for a video game, it is, is awesome. It is great, and just taking something as educational as this, and just warfing, like using it for, uh, for battles, oh, it's such a good idea, I just, it's so original. And once again, it comes in my favorite era, 98 to 2004. English is coming to attack. So protect their villagers. You can use the town bell to garrison them in your town center. Click your town center and click town bell. After 2004. Um, uh, what would be my favorite Good. game? Good. You defeated the English soldiers. Have you have villagers in your town center? Ring the town bell again to send them back to work. Probably like. I don't know, Super Smash Bros. Brawl or something like that? No, that not, no. That's good, but not my favorite. Who knows? Who, knows? who really knows? I, I'll, I'll get that next video as we...